Okay, so I wanted to read a few of the entries from Awaken Every Day, 365 Buddhist Reflections to Invite Mindfulness and Joy. And uh, <clears throat> just to give you a little taste of uh, what's in the book. Okay, so I'll just read a few things. So this is one that is it called We're Not Helpless. When we suffer, self-pity may be our choice emotion. I'm helpless. I'm hopeless. Nothing goes well for me. Poor me. Sniff. We may not be masters of the situation, but we're not helpless either. We have a moral responsibility to respond to suffering in a way that solves problems instead of creating more. By using thought training techniques, we can transform adversity into the path to awakening. Compassion enables us to do this. People who have suffered and have been healed by generating compassion can be of great benefit by becoming social activists or by engaging in social projects. Suffering can make us stronger and forces us to cultivate inner resources that we didn't know we had. So some of the ideas in this passage I've unpacked in other books I've written, but here it's very, very concise. And you may read it and initially go, suffering can make us stronger? and force us to cultivate inner resources we didn't know we had. And we may initially go, huh? What in the world is she talking about? But the idea is because it's so concise, then you have to think about it afterwards. Yeah, somebody's not going to unpack it for you. You have to think about it yourself. What could somebody have possibly meant by saying something like that? And then we look at our own adverse circumstances that we've lived in, and we see that we have grown stronger because of them. And we have discovered resources inside our, of ourselves that we didn't know we had. And so, you know, by having to think about things like this, it really uh, helps us to integrate the meaning of the Dharma into our own lives. Okay. This one's called The Winds of Karma. Here, we are blown together by the winds of karma. It's not by accident, nor is it predestined. Due to causes and conditions, and especially due to our previous actions, we find ourselves together here. The events in our lives and the feelings of pleasure and pain in response to them are conditioned. Sometimes we have happiness, other times misery, and often just neutral feelings. But from a Buddhist perspective, what happens to us is not as important as how we respond. How we respond to our experiences creates the causes for future happiness or suffering. Actions motivated by anger and greed create the cause for misery. Actions springing from kindness and compassion create the causes for happiness. How we respond is our choice. Okay. So that this could be a very good one to read before you go to work when uh, you're going to you think you, that the meeting you're going to have is going to be difficult, you know, to, to, to really think, okay, what I experience is uh, conditioned by my previous actions. <clears throat> and so I may see things in a certain way. I may have certain responses, you know, emotional responses or certain thoughts about it, certain interpretations. But the real important thing is how I respond to what I encounter in life. Yeah? Because how I respond is creating the cause for what I will experience 
in, fu in the future. And how I respond also changes how I feel right now. Yeah. So for example, if somebody criticizes me and I let my mind go into anger and I respond by getting angry back at that person, yeah, then I'm starting a whole chain of events or continuing a whole chain of events that's going to turn into a bigger and bigger disagreement, most likely. Yeah, In addition to making my own mind very unhappy because I'm angry, and then the other person is going to reply with anger, and so it goes. Okay, Or I could keep my mind kind of neutral and say, oh, that person you know, is undergoing some difficulty themselves. They're kind of venting by what they said. I don't really need to take what they said personally. I can let it go. And then, you know, respond in, in a neutral way or even in a friendly way. And then that sets a whole new set of conditioning going in the future. So not only the conditioning right now, how the relationship develops with that person, but also uh, for future lives because I'm creating karma by how I'm responding and acting to a situation now. Okay, so there's all sorts of uh, little tidbits like this in the book um, that hopefully will help you in your life. Yeah. It's not a, a book with a lot of, um, uh, how do you say, like intellectual uh, philosophy in it. Yeah, it's, it's um, short, concise things that you can practice in every day that bring mindfulness and joy. <laughs>